In this video, we'll do the problem you see here, which says Kara categorized her spending for this month into four categories. The amounts are summarized here. What percent of her total spending did she spend on rent? Answer to the nearest whole percent. Okay, there's a couple ways you could go about this. There's a more efficient way, and then there's just a simple calculations way. So we can begin by determining the amount of rent and the total spending, and then we can get a percentage by dividing those. The rent amount is 417. The total amount we can get by putting in an equal sign and then just doing a simple calculation where we add all the amounts from each section of the pie right into a cell. Remember, putting an equal sign into any cell turns it into a calculator. I press enter, and there I have my grand total. And I can calculate the percentage using my equal sign, and then I can type in 417 divided by 1500. And now, to turn that into a percentage, you would want to multiply that amount by a hundred or another option is you can right click and format cells to a percentage. Now they asked us to do um, to the nearest whole percent for this one so when I select percent I will choose zero decimal places so the answer is 28 percent. Okay, notice the little key icon here. If you haven't noticed that yet, you can use that to view answers on the third try. All right, now uh, let's see a similar problem so we can practice a little more. Another way of doing the same problem, uh, which I like better, but it depends on the person, I guess, if you could put all your categories in and do it this way fun and other. So we have four forty four this time, five fifty six, six sixty seven, and three three three. Oh, I think I did those backwards. That was three 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 and six six seven seven. Okay, so now we have all the amounts. Double check to make sure they're correctly entered. And then the total would be the sum. And so now I have my grand total here. And I can calculate the percentage of each one of these. So this was the dollars spent. And then I can also do a percent column where I take each value and divide it by the grand total down here. And I can make that an absolute reference since I want to keep dividing by 2,000 each time. I don't want this to be a relative reference that will shift as I copy down. I want to keep it just always on that one cell. So putting in dollar signs in front of the column reference and the row reference will um, put it so that it will be pinned in place. I can also copy my sum formula over. And the reason I might want to do this is just to make sure that these decimals all add up to one. That's one quick check to see that things are adding up as they should. I can also change all of these cells to percent to however many decimals decimal places I wish and I want to make sure to reread this problem and see what changed. All right, the introduction is the same. The numbers were different here. What percent of her total spending did she spend on rent? Okay, so again we're asked about rent and again the percentage happens to be 28. It's probably a coincidence or maybe some of the questions don't always regenerate the answers. 
the answers might be always the same. Anyways, I digress. Let's go on to another problem. And this is question number two. I'll do that in another video.